good morning learners i am agilandeshwari educator here to teach you the java programming concepts and in this session we will be learning encapsulation using java here i have listed the topics we are going to learn in this session and along with this along with these sub topics i also listed the learning hierarchy uh, the importance of this learning hierarchy is we are starting our learning from the bottom that is the basic learning level is remember once we remember some concepts we are trying to understand the same and once we are thorough in the meaning and the facts we are trying to apply the same after that we are doing some analysis and from the analysis we are performing some evaluation whether the concepts or the ideas we have executed is right or wrong once we come to the conclusion we are trying to create or we are inventing something new okay so this is actually the progress of the various learning levels i request all the learners please don't stop your learning until you create something new and again this learning cycle is cycle should be repeated again and again okay so with this few introduction to the importance of learning we will start our today's session okay first so before learning encapsulation you need something to understand that is uh, you should be thorough in what is jvm jdk jre and what is class and instances okay so for making you to recall few facts quickly i shared two different images look into it carefully to quickly recall the basic concepts next the learning outcome after the session you will be able to define and implement encapsulation concept and also you could differentiate between various programming concepts in java then what is encapsulation encapsulation is the process of binding and hiding the details of class implementation from the user for making you to understand here i have shared few real time entities with lock symbol so this is what i am going to achieve using encapsulation here i am having a book with the lock symbol yes our class is also bound with a class member variables and also member functions yes or no as a single unit in the same way the book is having or bound with some details and look into the lock so this is important this lock is indicating that the owner who is having the key is having full control over the book yes or no similarly by hiding some details the object is having full control over the member variables and member functions so that the other objects can't directly access my member functions now you may have a question in your mind why do we need encapsulation why i have to bind and hide the details to provide security encapsulation is actually providing security for making you to understand i am listing one uh, example class product with two different public member variable product name and product price as you declare this two variables is public your data is accessible to any objects yes or no now suppose imagine you want to include some validation code to product price the product price should not be less than 0 in that situation other objects can easily bypass your validation they will directly access your object so this will lead complexity in maintaining your code to avoid such complexity we are using encapsulation to have a exclusive control over their data okay so that's play the important role of encapsulation how to achieve encapsulation you have to declare the instance variable as private and also you have to provide a public setter and getter methods now you may have a question what is the need for getter and setter methods 
getter and setter method methods actually act as a public interface to access your member variables okay so through this access our method and mutate our method you are actually giving read only permission and write only permission to the user this is an example program so for the same which i have used explained already i declared all the variable as private and for accessing this private i am using the access r and mutate r now see here the only way to access the data is indirect via the methods written into the object okay and key points to remember if you didn't define any setter method you are giving read only access if you didn't define getter method you are actually giving write only access so what is the lesson we learned today encapsulation prevents access to data except through objects functions now here i am giving you some code snippets to analyze so look into the following code this is an example of tightly encapsulated class so why this class is called as tightly encapsulated class because all the data member present inside the class is strictly declared as private then they are called as tightly encapsulated class okay now hope you understand the meaning of tightly encapsulated class so now apply the same uh, based on this i have asked you two different questions find the answer for these two questions and attend the next session so next session we will learn what is abstraction in java programming thank you learners